Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is the Dell XPS 139300. And if you're looking closely, you might notice that there's something a little bit different from this version. This version is running Windows. This one is running Ubuntu Linux. So it's one of the developer edition models. And it's uh, going to be available around the same time as the Windows version. And pricing is going to be around $50 cheaper. Exactly. So um, so this is the version that is uh, running Ubuntu. And it uh, started off a number of years ago as Project Sputnik. And ever since uh, 2012, Dell's been offering new versions. And so I'm here with um, Martin George. And you are uh, uh, the so reason I, for this, right? Yeah, so I, I started this back, a pitch to an internal innovation fund. Uh, they liked the idea. I was given six months and a little pot of money to see if people would care. Uh, so the first thing I did is get a bunch of people together because I am not the kind of person who's going to code this up or to, to put it together. And so we went, we launched it on my blog. We were blown away by the amount of interest that we've got. And so here we are. Ten generations later, uh, and uh, we've got the uh, the Ubuntu laptop, and it just it keeps getting better. So, uh, so prices are going to start around 950 or so for this model. Yes, and um, it's uh, in addition to shipping preloaded with uh, Linux and not having to pay for a Windows license if that's something that you're morally or aesthetically objecting to. Or you like uh, to save money. <laughs> exactly. Um, it also is supported by Dell, right? Yes, exactly. And that was one of the key things when we solicited input from developers up front, saying, "What do you want in a laptop?" One of the key things they said is, "We want support." Not surprising. Uh, we don't want to just get one and then people say, hey, good luck, Dell says good luck, you're on your own. Uh, so it's a, a 2.6 pounds starting weight, it's a laptop with a new slim bezels, it's got a, a, a 16 by 10 aspect ratio display, an Intel Ice Lake processor. Uh, Dell is not the only company, obviously, that makes Linux laptops, but it is one of the uh, largest companies that is making consumer level, sort of ultrabook style, if anybody still uses that word, uh, thin and light machines like this. So, um, so it's uh, and relatively one, unique, one of the I think. things, too, yeah. is people are maybe aware of this one, but we actually have over 150 systems that come with Linux uh, preloaded. Uh, the, the difference, main thing here is this is our top end, right? Something that developers would want to, to be using when they see their um, peers with other laptops from other companies, maybe, that are very good looking. We put something up that itself is top of the line. Right, so what we're looking at here is dell.com slash Linux, which yep. takes you to the page with uh, you know all the precision and the um, uh, other workstation. Uh, so you got thicker, heavier, maybe even more powerful, but not necessarily the thin, light, uh, you know, latest uh, features that you get from like 10th generation Intel Ice Lake up to a Core right. i7 we processor. Call it the Beauty yeah. and the Beast lineup. So yeah. you've got something slick like this, this is built line, and then you've got one that if you're really looking to do some heavy processing, uh, you can use that as well. And uh, you can check out my other video for more details on the hardware here, but uh, generally speaking, we've got a 13-inch display, again a 16 by 10 aspect ratio up to 4K. Uh, two Thunderbolt 3 ports, uh, micro SD card slots, aluminum chassis, carbon fiber or glass fiber, or is it only carbon fiber for the Ubuntu? Uh, so uh, the, the XPS 13 in general is going to be available with a choice of different sort of white or black designs. Uh, the version we're looking at here is Linux developer uh, uh, edition model that has a carbon fiber chassis. So um, that is the uh, XPS 13 developer edition for 2019. and. Uh, this is uh, the latest in the long 20, line at this 20, point. 2020. 2020, whatever year it is at the time that you're watching this video. Um, and uh, this is the latest in a long line of um, uh, developer edition devices starting back in 2012 uh, as what almost seemed like an experiment that has yes. now become well, a part of Dell's, <laughs> has become part of Dell's ongoing business line.